Well, as you can see, we've got no alternative but to take the Garrard RC120 Mark II out of the HMV1628 radiogram. And the main reason for that is, firstly, the speed control knob is stuck on 78, which is the last speed I want. Secondly, when you touch the pickup and it's in the gram mode, I get a hum. So it's either wired backwards or there's something major wrong with the cartridge. So they're the two issues that need addressing with it out of the cabinet. So with the service manual in front of me, we'll start stripping this down and see what's happened. So we've been busy stripping down this record deck and it's taken a long time to unseize this part which is the um, speed change cam arrangement this was seized in that shaft so that's been in the vice and being knocked out and then uh, cleaned within an inch of its life if we just move the camera down a bit you will see that whilst it's been in these number of bits I've been busy putting those control knobs through the company dishwasher so they look a bit better because you can't get into the nooks and crannies very easily with the foam cleanser so whilst it was in bits I thought we'd do it that way right well we'll see whether we can put any of it back together the other thing we've got is the cartridge there the GC3, GC2 and it could be that there's no output on that and that could be a bit scary the crystal cartridges and as you know they fail with age so uh, We'll keep our fingers crossed, but it seems very weird in the way it was performing with the amplifier. OK, so we've got this turntable now propped up on the bench and the speed selector, after a lot of work uh, unseizing it and uh, stripping it down and lubricating it and all that is now back together. So hopefully, if I just press the power button, I'll just stand in front of the camera and as you can see we've got the idler going round, that's on the 78 position and as you can see it moves the idler out of the way and then shifts it up So now we'll work on some of the other things. I'll, I'll set it up with a test record. We've got a 10 inch record and it's a good, um, for, for, you know, for putting the stylus down in the right place. That's really a good way of setting it up because a 10 inch record is a good compromise between a 7 and a 12 inch one. Now looking at the service manual for this turntable, it can automatically detect 7, uh, I think it's 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch, 9 inch, 10 inch and 12. A lot of those are 78s which are long obsolete. So we're getting in the right direction and I'm just going to zoom out and you'll see that we don't, we don't have any jigs because I've never had to take a turntable out down uh, to this level before and I have propped it up on four Heinz cans. How about that? Now there are other brands of vegetable soup available just in case anybody thinks I'm advertising. So. We'll just put a bit more of it back together and see how we go. So there we are with it uh, on the baked bean cans, no, the soup cans, more or less back together. And hopefully we can switch it on from here. Especially if I've got the strength to do it. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? It's a nice clonk as the switch goes off. On to 45 there. Now I've seen turntables in better condition. I'll see what that clonk is as well. Um, there's a bit of cracking there and there's a little on the hard side but 
I don't know if any of you out there know what else you can do because I can't write to Garrard and say please send me a new turntable mat for my RC120 so um, we may just have to bear with that see how it grips the records later on right I think it's time we've installed it back in the cabinet uh, we still have the issue with the cartridge but that can be fitted later